my friends? This is Brother Will over at the Casserole Disaster, and today we are going to do something I've done for a little bit, but my good buddy Matt over at Dinosaur Dracula has a subscription fun box that comes out every month, and I highly encourage you to become a subscriber because I've been a subscriber since day one. But I'm going to be doing another unboxing for the January Fun Pack. I haven't done one of these in a couple of years, so I'm going to try to make this a consistent thing. I know I say that a lot about a lot of different things, but you know, time and real life dictate those sort of things. But I'm serious about this one because he puts a lot of time and effort to these things. And for what you get for the money, it is absolutely well worth it. So let's see what's in. All right. All right cut into this, but this is my first time actually looking at it. There you go. What's up with that? Okay, so Pokemon Power, collect all 24. Uh, Burger King, this, uh, this was, I guess came for a kid's meal or whatever in Burger King in 2000. I don't know how he gets these sort of things. It blows my mind that he has enough for every subscriber out there. And it has one of these neat old cars. I tell you what, Burger King, they're not Happy Meals, but you know, the kids toys or kids club. Um, it's pretty rad, man. Back in the day, I mean, they had Universal Monsters, The Simpsons for Halloween. It's really hard to get better than this, so, whoa. I got Scramisaur, or whoever it is. I've learned that there are two types of people in this world. There's people who love Pokemon, and there's people that have not a goddamn clue what it is. I've never been into Pokemon, and I don't hate it because people love it. And I, how can you hate on something that people love? So I guess this is, huh. Interesting. I'm, I'm really not going to do this any justice, but um, this is what it is. It's a card with a Pokemon character on it. Um, I don't, like I said, I'm not doing it any justice. Uh, I spent some time in Japan. I saw people actually playing Pokemon Go on their phones, walking all over the place. It was actually pretty awesome to see the place where it was originated from. And Pokemon's been around for a long freaking time. Uh, I had no idea how long it has been, but uh, that's all I have to say about Pokemon. Sorry, Matt, I didn't do a very good job on this first one. Moving on. <sighs> okay, so I don't, Feel like I gave Pokemon a very good shake. Pokey stops and Pokey gyms. Well, I have a suggestion for you. Why don't you go to a real fucking gym and catch a fucking game to chew? I guess. Um, but we're moving on because um, there's more inside this lovely box. Just like Dick Tracy. Oh man, this movie. Whoa. Whoa, this movie. And this is a blast from the past. It came out in the 90s when movies actually started becoming weird, like you know, Tim Burton's Batman, Ghostbusters 2, Dick Tracy, and love Dick Tracy for what it's worth. Which is actually pretty wild. There's two figurines in this, which is Mahoney and Dick Tracy himself. And uh, let's see, I, I can't tell if he's checking his watch or they're supposed to be hugging. Mm. Kind of looks like he's punching her in the mouth. I don't like that. All right. So, um, pretty cool. Uh, this movie, oh man, the special effects in this movie, all practical effects. The mobsters, amazing. The cinematography, the color, it's great. It had a deep impact for people of my generation. Um, we are getting older. Oh my goodness. This is from Star Wars Episode One. A dangler for the people of applause. Because um, everybody likes applause. 
I guess it has a suction cup that you can stick onto surfaces and it dangles or dances or does something. Um, series of different ships from episode one. You remember that one? Big old dump in a jar episode one. I'm not gonna go into that, the reasons for, I mean, there's no there's no room for hate here at Casserole Disaster, so. Uh, but I will say, uh, the kid that played Anakin Skywalker was. I'll try spinning, that's a good trick. What? Pretty cool, I like the, I like these little dangler ships. These are pretty, pretty rad, the idea of it, anyway. Oh man. So the cool thing about these uh, Dinosaur Dracula Fun Packs is every so often you'll get a Dino Drax specimen. This is number 42. Uh, this is bizarre to say the least, which are knockoffs of the Garbage Pail Kits from the 1980s. These are called Trash Can Tots, and you can only get them exclusively in vending machines. This one is Smart Art, which looks like it was drawn by a fifth grader who may not have gone on to the sixth grade. Um, pretty cool, these are actually kind of endearing. Uh, much love to those. Uh, oh, cool, stickers from Street Sharks. If you're unfamiliar with Street Sharks, they're mutant, muscly dudes that are sharks that fight crime. These are some of my favorites. These are these uh, cardstock um, imprints, which are pretty rad of, you know, various toys and backgrounds. These are pretty neat. Um, if you live in a cubicle world, you can hang these all over your cubicle, or you have a, you know, an office of a teenager, you can, you know, stay the leaves to the wall. I have a ton of these things. They're great, they're awesome. Um, sometimes Matt will, you know, draw them himself, or you have, you know, a really what are you doing now these are pretty cool you know the newsletter edition you get a newsletter that is typed out by Matt with this nice little signature here which describes everything that you get in that fun box you can do that before or after uh, you get equal assignments you know um, where you can uh, monthly art challenge pick two unrelated food items merge them into one new mutant food a pizza ice cream cone Dorito salad Kentucky Fried Cheerios. Devise your own monster food, then draw it, color it on the back of the sheet of paper. Now I know Sammy Hain rocks this. I have the artistic capabilities of one of my dogs. So, then you have a specific essay. Now, if you go to dinosaurdracula.com, he's got hundreds of different uh, stories and nostalgic, you know, references. Uh, it's just a wonderful thing. But with these, you get an exclusive one for your very own. I'm not going to read that out loud because that's why you have to become a subscriber. It'd be kind of a dick thing to do. So, and again, then you get all these vintage trading cards, which are so awesome. Me myself, sometimes I like to go into random places like a grocery store and drop a 1990s Dick Tracy card in the cereal aisle just. Because, because you never know, it could make somebody's day. They could be walking around and be like, what the hell is a 1990s Dick Tracy card doing right next to Fruit Loose? <sighs> it's just one of those weird little things. And then, he always gives candy in these things, so. My name's Will with Casserole Disaster. I've just unboxed the Dino Drac Fun Pack that you can get for $25. I'll have the link below at the YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, so. See you guys. Stupid GoPro. Cool